report to the AP security checkpoint to identify and reclaim your properties. Agent Aiden Loria, please report to the- All right, we have made it to the room. I need to find the light. There's the light. Um, so this, I grabbed this. This is the room where we are staying this weekend. Super nice, and when I checked in with BJU, they gave me a whole swag bag, so I'm excited to see what's in that. Um, but here's a little overlook of the room, which is pretty nice. There's a Starbucks in the hotel, and you can see all the way down. Our first um, event tonight is a dinner at a restaurant just around that corner there, so I'm gonna shower because I feel disgusting after flying all day, but um, this is a look at where I will be staying for the weekend while I am here with BJ. And it was a really long day. I got up at four o'clock my time and flew completely across the country. My first flight into Charlotte was a little delayed and I only had an hour, um, initially had an hour to get on my next connecting flight from Charlotte to Greenville. And so I had like 17 minutes. So that was a little bit of a rush. I have not had like a substantial meal all day. Um, so I'm really looking forward to dinner, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower now, but I'm glad to be here and excited to see what God has in store this weekend. Let's see what is in this bag. Skinny Pop, cookies, fancy water bottle, cranberry mix, a chocolate bar, <laughs> a bottle of water, the schedule, a book um, from Zan Tyler who is gonna be speaking, a notepad, Biblical worldview book and the catalog. Super cute. So fun. I need to eat something of these. I'm gonna eat the trail mix right now. <laughs> I'm super hungry. All right guys, so here's a look at what I'm wearing to dinner for the first night. I got this dress from Target. It is the Knox and Rose brand and it is so comfy. The lighting is not doing it any justice, but it's fun to have a reason to get up get dressed up in something other than workout clothes and I just love the pattern of this. It's pink and pretty like I said the colors not really working because it's very spring like here in um South Carolina at least right now. So uh, that's what I'm wearing for our first event, which is dinner in about an hour. I took a shower and it was the absolute best shower ever. Showering after flying is always on high on my priority list. The lighting in this room is horrible. <clears throat> but anyways, I wanted to tell you guys, like they put our schedule on the back of the little thing. So this is not just like a free for all type trip. Um, it's, it's, has a purpose. So our days on Thursday and Friday begin at 7.30 in the morning with breakfast. And then we have um, different meeting times. We have um, speakers, we have a break, we have a tour of educational content, we have lunch, we have a tour of the printing division, we have um, all different kinds of things um, and then different meals and q a with video teachers in the blue ridge room which my kids are super excited about that i get to meet some of their bju teachers i've been given a specific assignment to take a selfie with any of their teachers so hopefully they'll be winning willing for that um but yeah we have a jam-packed day thursday and friday you guys can see it's all right there all the time and then i fly back out at like two o'clock on friday so i literally came to the east coast um for essentially like two full days. Well, I guess you could count Wednesday and Friday. So we'll go three days. Came to the West or the East Coast um, for three days. I met some new people in the car on the way here. I can't remember if I said that. Um, one of them was from Boston and the other one was from Missouri. So I'm getting the feeling that I probably traveled the farthest, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I got ready pretty quickly. It's only 530. So I'm just gonna kind of have a minute to sit down and like, 
take a breath um, because traveling all day is really tiring, especially with having to change planes and all of that um, and waking up so, so early. So I'm going to hydrate myself and um, lay, lay back for a little bit until it's time to go down for dinner. Good morning, you guys. It is day two of being in uh, South Carolina for BJU. We had an early wake up call. Um, I had to get up at 6.30, so that puts me at like 3.30 my time. My body is so confused. Last night, I fell asleep at like 9.30 uh, East Coast time, so it was like 6.30 my time, and so I took like a really long nap, my body thought, and tried to wake me up. Um, thankfully, I was able to get back to sleep, but I was a little worried for a minute. Um, so let me show you guys what I have decided to wear. Um, these little cropped black jeans, I wanted some without distressing because I think that that gives it like a more professional look. Um, so these are just from Target and they're the Universal Thread brand. I like them a lot. And then I have just this floral top on. I've had this um, from Madewell and I just don't wear it a bunch because this is more than I would do for an at-home homeschooling day. So here I am already. I'm gonna wear my Converse right here for all the walking. And that is what I am wearing today. And I'm excited to see what is in store for us today um, with taking all the tours and all the things that we're doing. So ready for day two. So I came down to breakfast and I found a friend. You might know her. Hi. It's Ashley from Joyful Noise Learning with Ashley, right? Yeah, yeah. So go check out her channel. She's a Charlotte Mason inspired mama. And so if that's something you're interested in, she has all the info for you. We have some other friends over here. We won't reveal their names or location. <laughs> kids don't growing up but actually we do know how the story ends so we just need to make sure that we remain faithful as we get to Revelation 22 and our lives and Jesus comes again and so we we have a lot to be hopeful for so I was having one of these moments many years ago where I just wanted to quit I thought I've been in homeschooling long enough it's time to hang up the golden slippers or the ruby slippers or whichever slippers we're talking about and quit Photos is it captures a lot of details. I mean, in the you know, not that many years ago, you would have models pose for you and you draw sketches, but photos are way quicker and way easier on difficult poses. So we we use photography to capture those subtleties, lighting, things like that. We name it to educational content. <laughs> remember my name tonight. <laughs> so this is where the books get started. So hard to do it one handedly. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, this whole side of the end of the building here, are all our editors and editorial assistants that um, help keep us consistent. And this is production design. Jen, you want to sit down there? All right, come, come on in, in. All the way up. Hi guys, I'm so excited to have you here today. Hi. The look and feel of this entire product line down to one piece. So this is the student edition. Where's my book here? <coughs> right here. This is the book. Okay.
Look at the hairs on this oh little God. mouse and his cheese it cracker. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it to show him. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah. my gosh. That's so cool. How about you guys? So cool. First big way is. Um, we work with the writers out here. So you were just out here, you saw all these writers that are experts in their area. So they're experts in history, experts in science, or experts in math. And they're really, really good at that. But it's not really fair that we would expect them to be, you know, you need to be an expert in history and technology, or science and technology. That's not really fair. So we in here, a lot of us are assigned with writer teams. So for example, I work with all the heritage teams. Ken back there works with all the math teams. To the American dream. For our family, it's red, white, and blue, and a little bit of green. <laughs> all right, so if we're going to talk about... What a day, you guys. That was a jam-packed full day with some amazing speakers. Like I said, I didn't really know what I was getting into when I was coming here. I didn't know if it was gonna be more along the lines of like wanting marketing or, or what it was, but today's um, speakers were so encouraging in this homeschooling life um, that I choose to share publicly, and I just feel like a renewal in my purpose. Um, not only for you guys but also in my own homeschool so it was a real blessing today i'm really excited because we're gonna head out to dinner now i have about five minutes before i have to go back down and get on the bus um to head to dinner and uh, i'm just hoping for a really yummy meal they pre-chose all the restaurants that we're going to so this one is called um sobies or sobies so gonna head out there now and I think uh, Ashley, the one that I showed you this morning from Joyful Noise Learning is gonna walk with me. So we're gonna walk back to the hotel about five blocks they said so we can at least see a quick glimpse of downtown Greenville. Um, everyone was so nice today, really sweet. They really took care of us. And I even got the card of the college um, administrator or one of them for looking into potential college options at Bob Jones University. So that's cool. Um, half of their student body is homeschooled with, or was formerly homeschooled. So I think that's really unique, but we are off to dinner now and um, I'm really tired, but gonna go enjoy myself and make the best of it. I think it'll be filled before you're done. <laughs> so this is a natural waterfall. Yep. I didn't like make it. Like I said, it was totally overgrown. They didn't even know it was here. Wow. Well, wow, we've done a lot too. So I live around here, but I've come to the river a lot. So I've never been a chance to walk it. Yeah. I'm wow, that is so years. pretty. That is so cool. It's so unique because it has all those big boulders up there. Yeah, where is this water coming from? It's just a lake? Good morning, you guys. It is uh, the last day here at the summit for BJU. I just got up, still in my jammies, finished getting ready. The lighting in here is so bad. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna head down for breakfast in a bit, and then um, the event ends today at 
1.30 and I'll be leaving right away to get to the airport. My flight out of Greenville to Charlotte leaves around 3 or something and I get back home later tonight. So I am going to finish packing up my suitcase over there, get myself dressed and head down for breakfast for um, the rest of what they have for us here. But it has been a really fun time and I hope you guys have enjoyed a little bit of a look at um, what went on and some behind the scenes stuff. Uh, it's always cool to see the inner workings of these companies that even if we don't use necessarily all of their curriculum or some of it um, as homeschoolers, I think we all should feel very thankful that people have stepped up and Bob Jones is one of the, um, the originals. So it's really, really cool. So anyways, gonna get dressed now, laid out my outfit right here like I was going to school the night before and um, I hope to share some stuff with you today. I don't know what all of that uh, entails, so we'll see. So here's my outfit for day two. Um, I actually wore this on our Disney cruise and I don't think I've worn it since. So that tells you how often I need business casual, but it's a romper from Target. It's old. Um, it's got this blue and white floral pattern and a balloon sleeve and a tie belt, pockets, and it's comfy, <laughs> but I will be changing before I get on an airplane because I can't wear rompers on airplanes. Hi, good morning. or scene shop that we're called commonly as well because we build scenes. We make a scene back here. So what we do is we have all the lesson sets that are built back here, all the backdrops for that. Have they been through the studios yet? This is your first stop. Oh, okay. okay, so you'll see some of those when you go through your, the studio part of the tour. And um, like our teachers all teach in front of the camera, obviously, and then they need a background. So we do our teacher sets but on, on their lessons, for their lessons, and we also do it for our special segments that we build, we also make sets. Mm -hmm. They can't wear patterns because they buzz or vibrate mm -hmm. on the screen. Mm -hmm. They can't wear neon colors because it looks like they're glowing. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> There's all these different things that they have to keep in mind that they just have to avoid when they are selecting things. And last but not least, they also have to take in consideration the type of uh, the decoration they have for their set. Yeah. Because it, there have been cases that the type of shirt colors that they're wearing blends in so well with the background they disappear. Yeah. So they have to <laughs> look for something else, have to stand up. So there are all these layers to it. Now there's people that are watching, like I said, that they, they, they the people's faces and facial uh, uh, facial features all together. So the man will just get a brush over. 
as Jody was explaining to you earlier, we have to move so much of the sets just to accommodate the different classes. But um, for for the segments, we decided to have this. Very good. <laughs> Let me confirm. We should. I guess it's this one. Yes, it's this studio. Oh, hello. That's where we have the studio recording. This is Miss Gopher. Hello, hello. Hello. This is actually your set, so I think you should be the one up here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> where would you like us to just Anywhere, this way? Okay. You are comfortable to walk around and enjoy. Yes, yes. You can feel exploring it. how this all works. <laughs> we also have a green screen that I forgot to mention in which, yeah. that we oh, use yes, for yes. special effects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes, we can, we can have you do it. How far is that from Houston? I actually recognize oh, you when you're subscribers. Okay. Are you? Are you? I can think you're probably saying before. I was like, where have I seen it before? Where? I was like, oh, I know. You too. You're a subscriber. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.